into words what it feels like to put in that much physical and emotional effort into something and not be rewarded, at least not today? Yeah, I mean, it's tough. Um, physically, I feel fine, just uh, emotionally more. Uh, just sucks to, to lose that one. I uh, definitely felt like had it on my racket, and uh, yeah, I mean, you know, towards second, uh, I mean, thir third, fourth, fifth set, I felt like I was a better player. I had more chances, just uh, one bad game for me. But uh, yeah, I mean, definitely, definitely sucks, but uh, oh, good, good tournament for me overall. I mean, I think I misspoke when I said that uh, that he's corrupt or whatever. I said, you know, it's definitely emotional, but I do I do stand by my side. I think uh, it's unfair, uh, you know, how much Rafa's getting away with. I mean, I'm completely ready to play, and uh, the clock is ticking. Three, two, one. You know, it's clicking towards zero, and I'm looking at the at the at the ump, and and you know. I obviously I'm going to speak up and say something. I mean, I've been ready to play for a minute and a half. And he tells me that uh, that he's not going to give him a code violation because I'm not ready to play, you know, and it, to me, it's it's just it's a big joke. You know, if somebody says that um, and then after the four sets, I mean, the guy goes and for the same thing last year, I wasn't allowed to take a toilet break when I asked for a medical. He had already taken two medicals. He was getting medically evaluated. That's what the ump said after the four set, getting medically evaluated. And after the evaluation, the guy goes and takes a toilet break. And it's just like, where's the line? You know, like, where, where are you going to step on the players and say, okay, you know? And again, I respect everything that Rafa's done, and I think he's an unbelievable player. But, you know, there's got to be some, some boundaries, some rules set. And it, it's just, it's so frustrating as a player. You know, you feel like you're not just playing against the player, you're playing against the umpires you're playing against, you know, so much more. Um, and it's difficult. I mean, it was a big, big break after the fourth set for this reason. And the momentum just, just goes away. And, you know, it's just, it's much more difficult to play, I think. And uh, again, I'm not trying to say anything against Rafa. I mean, he's a great player. I really respect all he's done, but I just think it's super difficult and, and super frustrating as, as, you know, as an athlete to, to go up against all of this. Of course, of one hundred percent he does. One hundred percent. I mean, every other match that I've played, the pace has been so quick because the refs have been on the clock after every single point. And this one, I mean, after the first two sets, it was like an hour and a half, just because it's dragged out so much after every single point. I mean, he's given so much time, you know, and in between sets and all this. I mean, it's just it's dragged out, you know. And and like I said, I mean. I literally, for the same reason, I wasn't allowed to go to the washroom last year at the Australian Open because I had called a medical. And I'm not arguing the fact that he had a medical or whatever it is, you know? But how can you get evaluated medically and have a toilet break at the same break, you know, and just causing so much delay in the game? I mean, that's, that's it's just, it's not uh, balanced, you know? Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, it was nothing against Rafa. I mean, it was just Rafa was serving, and I would expect the umpire to be looking at Rafa, and the, Rafa, uh, the umpire was staring me down, and it just didn't make sense to me. You know, like, Rafa's getting ready to serve. There's a clock right there. You should be, as an umpire, you should be looking at the, at the server, and the guy's staring me down, so I just looked at him like, why are you looking at me, you know? And it was shortly after I had said, you know, obviously, like I said, I misspoke. But he was staring me down, so I felt like there was some feud or something. So I just I looked at him, you know, and, and I was just explaining that to Rafa. That had nothing to do with him. Who? No, no, he was just confused. He, he didn't understand what was going on. He just asked me what happened, and then there was no problem. Yeah, for sure. It was nerves. I didn't feel comfortable. I mean, it was my first match. 
in a while on on Rod Laver, you know, so he was definitely more comfortable out there. Uh, yeah, I think it was just nerves. I just had to get it re get into the match. I wasn't serving great, was struggling with the return, so the rhythm was was off. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm happy with with the way I was able to to fight and come back. You know, I definitely really found my game and late in the third and and in the fourth. So uh, definitely, you know, it's some sometimes it's good to to have more time. You know, at the Grand Slams to to kind of have opportunities to, to try to find your game. How did you get it back? Like, what did you say to yourself or do to yourself to focus on it? No, I just changed things. I mean, I felt like I was shanking a lot of returns, so I just tried to prep a little bit higher once I did that. So I was, uh, I was really seeing his serves and, and returning well. Um, in terms of my serve, I mean, it, it improved a little bit, but I wasn't able to, to really serve the way I wanted to today. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not sure why that, the case is, you know, a little bit of a different court. Uh, I don't know. But uh, yeah, definitely, definitely not too happy with my serve. I felt like that that could have been better. For sure. I mean, look, like I said, I I do respect and appreciate all that they've done, you know. And at this at the same thing, I mean, I'm just gonna add like. The fans, like Daniel said, the fans are cheering in between first and second serves. You know, it's just, it, I mean, out of respect to all the players, you know, like it shouldn't be happening. I feel like if you're a tennis fan, you should understand like both players are giving an effort, you know, and, and I understand all they've done. I understand all the success, but like, yeah, you're out there, you're trying your best, you know, like why are you clapping in between first and second serves? It's so unnecessary, you know. Um, but yeah, for sure. I mean, I just feel like it should just be more even, you know. They, they're already on their own. They're so tough to beat and it's so difficult. But if you give them more advantages, more advantages, then it just becomes that much harder every time, you know? So again, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to take away anything they've done. Of course, they're great champions. They're, you know, they're the legends of the game. But it, at the end of the day, when you step on the court, it should be, should be equal for everyone. I mean both. I mean, uh, Rafa did a good job in the last set to once he broke to to hold his service games and and serve really big, you know. But it was both. I mean, I wasn't able to to really feel comfortable out there. But it's not only it's not just myself, you know. He's obviously putting a lot of pressure on you and making a lot of balls and uh, and and playing aggressively when needed. So I think it's it goes both ways, you know. But uh, maybe you know. Other opponents would would give me a little bit more freedom, you know. Definitely, definitely, it's it's tricky, but uh, yeah, for sure, I think it was a combination of the two. No, I mean, I, I don't think he was struggling physically. You know, if he, if we're both struggling physically, it's a five-set match, you know? So I don't think it's, uh, I mean, obviously he called the trainer for some painkillers and this and that, but in my mind, at least if he's on court, then, you know, I'm not focusing on if he's whatever, you know, whatever it is. I mean, I have aches and ta tears as well. I haven't been 100% the whole tournament. So, you know, I don't, I don't think it's something that, uh, that I paid any attention to. Thanks. Thanks, guys.